North Korea is still taking aim at South Korea and the United States, threatening war and attack. But are they all bark and no bite? ABC's Tom and Bradley has the story. Tensions on the Korean peninsula continue to rage, and now there's real fear that North Korea's provocation could lead to a regional war with the South. The latest threat that the communist regime will strengthen its nuclear weapons capability by restarting a dormant reactor. For weeks, dictator Kim Jong un has talked tough, claiming he's planning an attack on South Korea and the United States. But despite the rhetoric, the White House says the threats so far have not been backed up by actions. We are not seeing changes to the North Korean military posture, such as large scale mobilizations and positioning of forces. But South Korea is not taking any chances. President Park Goon Hae instructed her military to ignore political considerations and respond strongly to an attack. The U.S. has pledged to defend the Seoul government. If they decided to, uh, you know, uh, resume hostilities, I think we got to be ready to go. The Pentagon has sent strong messages moving a destroyer into waters off the North Korean coast after previously conducting military drills involving F-22 fighter jets and nuclear-capable B-2 stealth bombers. But the military says it's proceeding with caution. What we don't want to do is respond to some type of, of deceptive move that would would get us into a rapid escalation into a conflict. Saying this war of words has gone too far, the U.N. Secretary General is urging negotiations with North Korea. Tamon Bradley, ABC News, Washington.